Hello novice reef keepers, how are you today? Today I'm going to show you how to culture live phytoplankton. Oh, hey guys, how are you today? So this is the phyto that you just saw in that video at the start that I just cultured. So about half of this uh, will do me for about a month. So I am going to start my new culture. Um, so the first thing you want is to sterilize everything. Um, you want to either use some sort of steam, hot water. Um, you don't want no chemicals or anything like that. But the reason that you want to sterilize anything is because if bacteria gets into your culture, most likely it will kill your phyto. Um, so it's very, very important. Um, you will also need an air pump, an adjustable air pump is preferred um, because you don't want it too strong but I will show you that a uh, light that is rated for plants so not any old light you want a grow light some airline and a check valve to stop it from siphoning and that is it to start off with you'll need a container so this container here has 35 ppt uh, or 1.026 salinity water in there and this one has straight RO so the mix you want for phytoplankton is one to one so half 35 and half RO the next important bit is your lid so you want one for the airline to go through you don't want a big gap because that will allow too much bacteria and evaporation any evaporation you have you must top up with RO consistently this hole here is to release the pressure so nothing goes bang so the first thing you want to do after you've sterilized everything is mix your 35 ppt water you want it to be artificial water not not natural water not water from your tank because all those things already have bacteria that could out dominate your phytoplankton so you want uh, nothing else in there um, the other thing you will need is F2 fertilizer. Um, so I'll go grab that. Sorry guys, got my F2 now. So do not consume. F2 is a aquarium safe fertilizer to feed the phytoplankton. So this one here, shout out to Coral Creatures. Um, he hooked me up with this F2 here. And it's half a mil per litre. So I am doing four liters so i will need uh two mils um they're all a bit different depending on you know which one you buy the concentration so you know that's going to be different depending on the brand you use and a little pipette to measure that out with so just unscrew the lid here to the fido as you can see that's the one i did quite green so what we want to do is we want to add the RO to the salt mix there we go um, I probably want a little less water than that I could always top it up more Okay, so there we have it. So that's the mix, 35 and RO. So now we want to add a fighter. So this fighter here, you'll see from the video that at the start was very, very light. So I only used about 100 mils to make this uh, one, uh, two liters here. So go half, so half for me to use in my tank, and now I've got another four liters. So we'll top that up again, right at the top. There we go. 
So if I, I know that it's right to that line, so when it drops, you know, I want to top it up with RO and we're ready to go. Next thing you want to do is you want to add the F2 fertilizer. Put that cap on hard. And we want to add two mils of that. So you can see the little two mil bit. I'm gonna, I'll probably do it in separate bits. So let's do one mil. And another mil. So that's it. So let's put the cap back on that. So that's it guys. We'll put the lid on our Fido. Plankton just like that. I'll carry all this upstairs and I'll show you how to set it all up. So here we are guys. As you can see, I've put the airline in and you want it on the bottom. The reason that is, because phytoplankton without any movement will just sit on the bottom and the cells will squish each other and they would die. So this just keeps them free floating and not uh, laying on the bottom. Now you only want it gentle like that because too high is just unnecessary. So you just want a nice medium bubble like that. And then the light, and you just want that light on for the same as your tank, 10 to 12 hours a day, and that is it. Turn it on and off or put it on a timer. Um, wait 10 to 14 days to harvest it, um, and that's it. Hello novice reef keepers, so I'll show you um, me just feeding off my Fido just here, it's going to be a bit hard with one hand, but um, generally it's one cap full, um, depending on the mix per 50 litres, so I've got 200 litres here, so I'll just go ahead and I'll add four caps of these. Oops. One more. So the great thing about phytoplankton and what it does. So phytoplankton feeds your microorganisms and fauna, which in return um, then feeds your coral. So there has been studies lately that um, say that phytoplankton does directly feed your corals. But a lot of the studies previously have said that phytoplankton does not directly feed your corals. In fact, it indirectly feeds your corals by feeding your copepods, amphipods, um, diatoms, all those good little creatures. It has a massive popula population boom. Um, and then in return, all your corals and your fish get that. In return, some of the microorganisms that this stuff helps with um, in return, gives you a cleaner looking aquarium. So when I say that, um, you know, a lot of diatritis and that, uh, it's just not there. So I do not run socks in my tank, mine the sand, um, but you will not see one speck of dust. Um, when first adding it, I did have a bit of a diatome um, bloom because I had a lot of food. But since then, nothing. Crystal clear water and um, no, no particles for me. Um, as you can see, my tank's still waking up. The lights only came on about uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago. So they, they will all wake up and be happy. Um, I forgot to add that this phytoplankton, so you culture it, it takes about 10 to 14 days. I did mine for 11 days. Um, but after culturing and it's bottled up, you put it on a windowsill. Um, just like this My my crazy cats So I just put mine on my windowsill just like this and every day I come up to it and I give it a shake just like that and That will last on your windowsill one bottle will last one month So in saying that it takes you about 11 to 14 days to culture So you should always be rotating it and have fresh bottles um if it's a good batch, it should last a month, so...